I'm excited. It's like yin, the yin and the yang, you know? I like to take it real slow and then, yeah, now I'm gonna tour the world again. I enjoyed the downtime. I, I enjoyed just working on music at home. Flying like a fast train, I don't feel a thing Till when I pull into my station, I just I played a, 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 just a few gigs Like two solo shows and two band shows You know, last summer and more recently So if I didn't play those shows, I'd feel way more insane right now But I, So I feel good, I'm real excited to play for all my fans again And for myself Watch my moves. I say it in the song Mount Airy Hill. I'm like, Watch my moves. It do the snake and the you know, Down that low. I do the wiggle it around. Like uh, Jerry Lee Lewis does that kind of thing. Wiggle it around in one spot. But it's also sort of like, Watch my moves. It's my turn. It's like, uh, it's my turn. You don't have to leave the room, but you do have to step aside because uh, it's my turn. I'm coming through, so better get out of the way. That kind of thing. I would say it's I it's um in no rush, but and it's laid back, but it's also uh, confident and it's not meandering. It's it's um it's headed forward while staying true to my roots in, in the past. Uh, it's it's poppy and it's psychedelic, you know, every, all the good stuff. There's no rush uh, in this record. And I just, I don't, yeah, it's completely organic. Yeah, it's definitely, and that's that's still the way I want to play music too. I, I think, I just want to be in the moment, you know, I just want to be present. Uh, so that's, that's kind of my goal. I, I feel like I reached my goal in that way. Like Exploding Stones is the first song that came time. together. We recorded in my home studio. It was comfortable, um, especially after a while. Like it was a lot of, it took us two years to build it. Actually had my producer there and other people re we did have a deadline, so we had to kind of be quick, but but I was writing a lot of music the whole time. So yeah, it was a good combination of laid back at home, but not too laid back because we got to get it done, you know. I leave the room and my youngest daughter is playing the, my piano lick. She steals, all, she steals my songs, so. They've always been supportive, but now they're just getting a little older, so they, they're, they're fans of all kinds of music and they're fans of my music, but I just treat them like an equal, you know, uh, I value their opinion. Uh, it's, yeah, I mean, we've played music together. It, yeah, I'm, in, I'm in my 40s now, but I, I like it more than my 30s in a lot of way because I'm just comfortable. I don't really have anything to prove, but uh, I'm I'm, obs I'm a huge music fan. I like to play it, but I'm obsessed with all kinds of music. So I like just to see what the next obsession is. It always bleeds into my music in one way or another. So yeah, it's, it's always exciting. And then if it's not, I'll just stop playing for a little while. You know, it's fun to have the journey and look back and laugh at certain things anyway. But that said, maybe it would it. It wasn't even till like the last album, um, Bottle It In, that I got more confident playing live. Girl, you got wise blood coming, coming. I'm an outlaw on the brain. I read something in a Willie Nelson book too where he said if he, he likes to connect with one one person at a time, next thing you know you have the whole crowd with you. So I'm still working up to that. I didn't say I have the whole crowd. I didn't say I can look in the whole fa the face of the whole crowd, but at least the front row, you know. I want to be friends with people because I love their music. And ultimately, I also want to play music with them. You know, somebody like uh, Kate LeBon. Courtney Barnett. I drag a chair over to the window and I... So many. I get 
in, inspired. And often those people like James Stewart, yeah, from the Sun Ra Orchestra, that was amazing to have him play. That was more like a session. I would, I would love to be friends with him in real life. Maybe one day we will. I, I can't wait to have him play with me again. But, well, what I love about Rob, not only, well, he did like, he put out, he recorded a lot of Beck's first album, which I grew up on, Mellow Gold. And he worked with people like Elliot Smith, who I respect. I, I liked his music growing up, but he wasn't, and worked with all kinds of people. But Rob, he got in touch with me. He wanted to work with me. Uh, back in 2015 when the first song we re-recorded was Pretty Pimpin. I mean, I wanted to work with him too, but he got in touch with me. So it just shows he loves mu like he loves music enough to reach out. And then same flash forward to this last record. He, he told me, he's like, well, I could come to your house too if you want. So nobody, believe it or not, no producer ever said that to me. And we were talking all the time. We're friends, and he's just a good listener. So for all those reasons, that's that's why, that's what you want in a, in a producer. Love playing to uh, Belgian crowds. I love you. I can't wait to see you.